So I bought it. Welcome back to What's Sewing On. A few weeks ago on my community tab, I had asked if everybody would want to watch me go through this pattern haul that I just bought. Basically, what happened was I saw this picture online. This was the only picture. There was no sizes. It didn't tell me what was in there. It didn't give me dates. It didn't give me anything. It was just this picture of a pile of patterns and I bought it for some reason. But it's actually fine because I haven't been sewing for that long so I don't have that many patterns and I feel like all the patterns that I've been really excited to make I've already made. So I'm kind of open to you know looking through these maybe I'll get inspired. I did get some great fabric a couple weeks ago I had a fabric haul and I have no idea what to do. So maybe one out of 132 of these patterns is going to be something I'm going to want to do. But I kind of have a feeling that most of these patterns are going to be anywhere from the 70s to maybe 2000s, which is completely fine. They've actually worked really well for me in the past. I think it all matters on the fabric. I'm not all about historically accurate or anything like that. I do really like to use vintage patterns, but if I can use newer patterns and make it look vintage, that's completely fine for me. So I'm hoping to find a couple in here that I'm really excited to use. I've never done a pattern haul before, so I actually have no idea how I'm going to film this and what I'm going to do. So bear with me, but let's get to these patterns because there is a lot of them. Oh my gosh, so many. I don't even know how to do this. I really hope my audio is working because if I do all this and my audio is not, I'm gonna cry. So the very first pattern is a skirt and there's no date on it. Butterick, very cute skirt. It's just a plain skirt. I was like, man, I was hoping I was gonna pull out one that was like, can I redo it? Cue the It feels factory folded, but honestly, it's such a boring skirt that I don't know why you would want it anyways. I'm such a great salesperson. Okay, this one's actually super cute. Oh my gosh, I actually really like this. It's a huge skirt and petticoat, and it has even suspenders that you can make for it. That looks like a great skirt pattern. It's huge. 1984. Oh yeah, you can tell by the side sweat bangs. <laughs> Beauty. Oh my God, look at those earrings. I even did my nails. Not well, but. I think for the most part, what I love most about patterns and stuff Oh, I think she organized these into categories. No, never mind. Uh, I don't know. Sidetrack. I love the artwork of a lot of the patterns. Ooh. Ooh, this one is in rough shape. Again, no date on it. Why, simplicity? Just put a freaking date on your patterns. Ooh. Tell me these are for the bell bottoms. They are. Amazing, this definitely has to be the 70s. 74, look at those bell-bottom suit. <laughs> oh, I kind of like these sort of things. 1995, it's just some lingerie. I do like the house coat and the little shorts would be comfortable. Oh, oh, jolie. Oh gosh, <laughs> breaker. You just want the whole track family right from the 90s. This has to be 90s. 89. Oh, one year late. Pullover and headband. Oh, because you want your whole family to have headbands too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a nice house coat. I really like actually that long one there. Very pretty. I would, uh, I'd probably make something like that for sure. Small. So a 10 and a 12 from 1995. Oh my gosh, did I just buy all nightgowns? We have another nightgown, kind of a peasant style. And you know what? Not saying you can't make a dress out of these. You probably for sure could because, you know, they, they, it has everything there that you need to be there. More houseboats. Oh gosh. Is that a quilted jacket? It is. Nice. 1975 we have size 14 and it's the sweater jacket and the pants not too inspired yet oh my gosh i have this one already 
I got this out of pack in a three pack. Um, I definitely remember this shirt because I liked it. So 1987, it is factory folded. That's really nice. I like how it has the buttons going up up the back. I do really like this one and it is size eight to 12. I would have to see if what my sizes are, but I'm pretty sure I already have this one. Oh, time saver quickie. I haven't seen that on a pattern before and a lot of tape. Okay. 1969, well, I got my first 60s pattern, even though, you know, it was really late. I really like her uh, little updo, it's it's super cute. The dress, I think, is just a regular kind of normal, it's cute. I do like the lace detail around the bust in that middle dress, but, you know, it's not completely what I, what I usually look for. So we have another dress here, 1975. I do like the long bell sleeves. I think that's really cute. I'm not a huge belt person, but I can obviously understand it with this because it would be very drapey. It's a young junior teen dress, so I guess you'd have to see if that would actually work. But again, nothing crazy. Oh, <laughs> hello. You know what? I don't hate it. So Simplicity 8605. 1988 what I really thought it was going to be later than that I guess I'm better with people than I am with clothes surf club like you could totally see AC Slater Jesse and Kelly just rocking matching outfits like this it does have a big rip down it I don't think it's it's definitely not factory folded no it's all cut up I don't know how many pieces are there. So somebody used it, which kind of makes me even more happy. <gasps> that is just a great pattern. They're just having so much fun. I would actually probably make something like this. I'm not gonna lie. What size are these? Small, medium. Yeah, I would definitely probably make something like this because especially if I could find some funky prints like that, that, that was worth it. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I think they have a picture of Demi Moore from Ghost or Snot Face from Drop Dead Fred. Oh my goodness. Hey, she looks happy in it, so that's all that matters. Okay, this is an interesting dress. So this is Cynthia Rowley. I personally would never wear it because I don't like how tight it is around the waist and top of the hips. That's a very interesting detail, but it does have the bow neckline that I usually love. It has been cut out, so it's not factory folded. It's just such a strange, you know, the drop waist. It's just not something I would normally go for, but I could see somebody enjoying this. This would look great on a lot of people. Cute dress. It looks like very 70s, 75. Like I, I could probably make something like that. I would probably, again, just change the collar, make it a little less dated. But you know, if I did use this dress, it would be just a very simple everyday sort of dress. Oh, no. No. See so. See and so, sorry. That's just, no, I don't like that at all. It's not shocking. It's not factory folded. So somebody actually made that. You know what? I hope there's looks better than that. But no, that's... I'm done looking at that one. So this is a really cute blouse. Simplicity 8390. 1977. It's just really cute. I think I would, I think I would use that somehow, possibly. Even making it a dress, but keeping the sleeves and the ruffled neckline. It could be really cute. I, I don't, again, I don't know if I would really make it, but I really like the artwork, her and that rose. It's just so pretty. And like, we're almost like matching with our patterns. Whew. Ooh, there's a nice uh, matching jumper, 1991, you know it. That is quite, oh, and it's not factory folded. Hmm. They're actually not together though. It's a separate. So you could mix and match with this pattern and you can have 
four different outfits probably. Those pants would probably be really comfortable though. Okay, yeah. I'm kind of regretting this purchase. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just the color, but wow, that just, that's just, yeah, 1991, sure is. That blouse, she's structured. I mean, it probably could look good. I don't know, I'm so bad at this. I'm not seeing a date. It is factory folded, even though it is in a little rough shape at the top. It's actually really cute. There's a lot of different options there. Different types of skirts, the dress, the shirt, the pants. It even tells you how to make the handbag. So, you know, you could even have a little matching tote bag. Maybe. Oh, this one is just really cute. 1951. It's so cute. Of course, like as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I really like those pockets. They're so different. I, it's adorable. I'm hoping all the pattern pieces are there. Ooh, it's not in the best condition. They are not factory folded. Actually, you know what? Some of them are. No, no, they're not. I'm lying. Some of them are just folded better than others. You know what? I think all the pieces are there. How many are there? Six pieces and there's quite a few in there. So that's so exciting. So it's a skirt. Oh, why am I doing it sideways? What size do we have here? I'm so bad at this. I'm getting all excited. So it's a 32 waist, so I could definitely make it work. But I really like those pockets. I kind of just want to figure out how to do those ones. Ah, oh, I'm so happy that there's actually a bit of an older pattern in there. This also looks like it could be in the 90s. 1991. Nice coat pattern. <laughs> I actually really like the artwork more than anything else. But you know what? That could be a really... Uh, it could be a pattern. Oh, learn to sew for fun. So this is an extra small, it's factory folded, coat only. Another C and sew. Man, I've never even seen them and now, I'll, now I have a bunch of them. Uh, skirt, shirt, it has a tie. It's factory folded. It's actually in really, it's, I don't even think it's ever been out of this plastic. Uh, it's from 2001, size 14 to 18. You could probably do something with it. Oh, we have cute little bathing suit, bikini style tops. Simple to sew. Whew. Do they all come with that? Very bad condition. Size so medium, so a 12 to 14. It's super cute. It looks like it's probably the 70s, 76. Not my style at all, but I am sure somebody could actually make that. I don't even want to show this. I don't like it at all. 2001, it is factory folded. Oh, no, it's not. But it's very well organized. Smart sewing lady or sir. Putting all of the pattern Wow. I thought just folding them and putting them in the right thing was good enough, but now I'm gonna have to like go and buy a bunch of Ziploc bags and do this to all my patterns. This is like next level seamstress. She has come to sew your man. <laughs> I never thought a 2001 pattern was gonna put me in a shame. Okay, well, I don't feel worthy of my sewing machine any longer. I mean, oh, this has got to be 80s. Oh my goodness. It's like, you just, you just know that they're listening to Vanilla Ice. Is that when he came out? When was Ice Ice Baby? What year is this? 89? I can't even look at what you would sew because I'm just obsessed with these people. Man, like this, this outfit. Don't tell me you don't want that. I didn't even know they made Ziplocs in this size. What do you got in your freezer? More tape. Okay, this is cute. I could definitely do something with this. Oh, you can make it a sh- oh. I am using this. What size is it? Size D, four, six, and eight. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be big enough. What is a size eight? Oh, it would be. Yes. I absolutely love this. You can make it a romper. You can attach 
a skirt over it. You can make it a skirt. This is so cute and I already know what I'm going to use for this. I'm actually so excited. It's factory folded like beach play suits is what I'm thinking and I love it. This is cute, very 70s, but I do really like the waistline. It's very interesting. I would switch up the collar because again, I think the pointed collar dates it, but I really like the rest of the dress. I like the sleeves, I like the cuff, I like the length of dress. I think that is super cute. I just do not like the pointed collar, but that would be such an easy fix. It is factory fold. Some pieces are factory folded. Ugh, that's kind of scary because usually if they cut just for one piece, you end up missing something like the collar or the cuff or something. So I'd have to go through that pattern. Hmm. But I do really like that. That's adorable. Yes, because I freaking love sweater dresses. So I would definitely make something like this. There is nothing like a cold day being in a sweater dress and leggings so this is definitely something i would make maybe not for my channel but probably just for myself i always love when there's like names on patterns <laughs> i've never written my name on a pattern before this is 1985 it's size 12 to 16 and we're just looking at the pants not the blouse which is interesting that they would show the pants and the blouses and all the blouses look very similar but the pattern is for the pants that are all the same if i looked at this pattern i would be like oh it's a blouse one it's literally what i thought it was no it's straight up the pants so it is factory folded nope some of them are factory folded so apparently there's a difference between these pants okay okay so we have a simplicity pattern here, size six to 12. It's all factory folded, never been used. I kind of like this overdress that she has on. It's a little Stevie Nicks, but you know, like I'm sure you could make something really nice with it, depending on the fabric. And, and all the pieces are there. Oh my gosh, see and sew, I'm never gonna get rid of you. So this, oh, is just a full wrap skirt again. Another looks has to be 70s pattern. You know, like you could make this work. The only thing with me and 70s patterns is they always have those really pointed collars. So if you rounded that collar off, even did like a bow collar instead, you can definitely make these patterns work without making them look as dated. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, like kind of want to make this for my family. Why do they have their pants pulled up so high? This kid should know better. Do you think they know they're still on a pattern? Like, do you, do you think he remembers when he posed for Butterick in 1991? <laughs> Sorry, 1998. I just, if you've ever been a model on a pattern, send me it because I have questions. And there's nothing wrong with it. Like, I kind of feel like it's a goal in my life one day to be on the cover of a pattern, but I can't be in the 90s. Like, what if I created my own 90s pattern and then did a really awesome 90s photo shoot? Yeah. But like, it's not, it's not the same because like, they were, they were there. Okay, so these look like interesting robes. I really like that they, they stuck with that pattern, that fabric. It really went for it. Not factory folded, folded. Um, it has been used, which again is kind of scary because there's a random green piece or maybe she's a tracer and so she just traced. Interesting. That's a little worrisome because why is there just a random green one in there? But if she redid a piece that was missing, that's kind of cool too. Feels like it's factory folded. It could be, might not be. I have seen these around a hundred of times. 1987, this is size 14, sorry, 12 to 16. So I'm assuming these are the pants because they're more in the center, even though some of these blouses look super cool. And I think I would rather it being the blouse one. I like these Ziploc bags. I wonder if you could get those. Would they fit like regular patterns? Yeah. I'm gonna have to look where to get these 
bags. Oh, we got a little costume. That's cute. Poodle skirts. Size 8 to 16. Factory folded. 2008. Super cute. Oh, we have a retro 1950s recreation from Simplicity, which really worries me because the retro one looks way nicer because it's like a cartoon drawing one than what they actually made with it. So that's kind of funny to me. Yes. Overnight success. 1983. I do really like the button thing. That's kind of cute. Not something I would probably wear. I don't know. Okay. So we have a little spa one, Butterick, you know, for that, that is a bad hair piece. That date day you really want, you can make your own flip flops, your own hair band, not the toupee, the actual headband. And you can do a half skirt towel or a full body skirt dress towel. So, yeah. Oh, you can monogram your own towels. You know what? I would actually really like to see somebody who did this. It would probably be really cute. I don't know what year this is because it doesn't say. And you know what? Like based off the teak and the white and all the plants, it could probably be this year. It's not, but no, I don't like this either. You know what? Kind of cute. You could probably do something with that. Make a very cottage core dress. I like the ruffles. Not bad, 1978. It is factory folded. It just, it gives no shape. Like the, those pictures of those women, it just like gives nothing to them. You know what? I don't hate some of these. That polka dot one looks like something I would do, something I've kind of already done before. 2004, that took me really long to find that freaking number. I don't like the high kind of empire waist and then throwing a belt. That to me is a no, but like the other looks that don't have the belt, it could potentially, potentially work. This one is interesting. Butter Rick. It's very like rock star-ish. I don't know. That's, that's really different. Like Aerosmith slash Beatles slash Sailor Moon. This could work really well for like even cosplay or something like that. Cute. More tape. Yeah, I haven't found much yet. I'm, uh, I'm kind of thinking this was uh, a bust. <laughs> All right, we've got a wrap dress, Vogue, eight to size, sorry, size eight to 12. Cute wrap dress. Feels like it is factory folded. <laughs> I kind of like this flannel shirt. Women's blouse. I actually really like this. I really like the dropped kind of shoulder where the ruching is. I think that's a really cute detail. Feel like it might be 70s, late 80s, 80, 1980. Um, I could see myself wearing a, a blouse like that. I feel like I even have one. Um, I do like this type of collar. It's just kind of folded over. It doesn't actually have a collar. This is a size 14. Yeah, just super cute. Ooh, I do like this blouse. This is really cute. It's definitely something I would wear, size 14. Factory folded. 1980. I really like it. I really like the little button detail here. Obviously in the bow one I would really like, but I just like the little pleat on the shoulder and a little bit of the puff sleeve. I think it's really simple. I will definitely make something like that. I, I like this one a lot. <sighs> oh my gosh, Berta Young. Cause... <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my why? Why, Berta? Oh, 2011. It has like gills coming out of the crotch. What is that? Like, look at this. Why would you want extra flappy fabric? I feel so bad for making fun of this, but that's just brutal. Why do you need a fish gill between your legs? I feel like I just need to put this in a time capsule, make sure it's really well wrapped to preserve this. So people just think that in 2011, everybody was wearing this. I've never ever seen somebody with that kind of a 
sag between, like I get wearing your pants lower, but this is like you can wear your pants where they're supposed to be and still have that sag because that's a good idea. Oh, oh, is this? Whoever made this it was a tracer, not a cutter. They traced the pattern pieces to preserve the pattern. Ooh, the coat pattern. That's an interesting um, collar. Oh, 2006. You know what? I can definitely see that in like some kind of 2016 movie. I love that most of them are corduroy. That's interesting. Oh, simplicity, young contemporary fashion. And I actually really like this. It's a pinafore dress. So you know, I'm going to love it. Size eight. It's super cute. I like the buttons going up, up, up the back, even though that's would be really hard to put on by yourself. Young junior teens and misses dress or jumper in two lengths. That's super cute. I like this one a lot. This is an interesting, I like the little triangles down the side of the dress. Um, this is a really cute pattern for sure. So it's a Vogue size 18 and a half. So that would be bust 41. But yeah, that's definitely a really cute pattern. Ooh, interesting. So this is a size 10. Why is there a bust? Is it the skirt? Oh, it's the whole thing. So it's the whole thing. It's like a circus kind of tent skirt. But I really like that could be a really like flowy dress. I don't really like the two-tone colors. That's kind of circus tent is what I thought of right away. But this one that's all just one, that could be super cute. Um, 1974. Bust is 32, size 10. This is a little like, could be 60s, could be early 70s. I don't hate it. I feel like you could probably make that into something super nice. Oh, 1976. I don't hate this at all. What size is this? Size 14. Interesting. It's a really weird kind of crumb catcher dress. But I don't know. That, that crumb catcher just doesn't look nice. Oh my goodness. Last pile. Yeah, I don't know. We've had a lot of 70s, 80s, and 2000s. Just like I said there was going to be. Maybe in this last pile, I'm going to be... Pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Ooh, this feels factory folded. Lies, some of it, partly. So somebody made one of these blouses. Artwork's kind of cool. Looking like yet yeah, 1980s, that flannel. Man, that came back around, size 12. Okay, now I kind of want to play a game. Is it the shirt or is it the pants? I'm thinking it's going to be the pants. It's the pants. So we have pants and skirt here. Doesn't feel factory folded. It feels like it's been balled up and crushed into there. Oh, this is kind of a cute one. Different, it's quick and easy. I actually don't mind that sweater because it just has that different neckline and I like unique looking necks and things like that. So I don't know, this has all the sizes in it. I could look into this one. This one could be a potential just because I like how it looks different, but I'm not wowed over it. Another very 70s looking pattern. We have skirt, pants, I'm sure it's all of it, blouse, long vest. Looks like it's all included. Even the belt. So that's 1971. We've got size eight. So the bust is 31. Oh gosh. There's getting worse and worse. Seen a bunch of these already. 1988 Butterick skirt blouse. Ya yeah, boring. Whew. All right, we have a Butterick really long sleeve dress. It's kind of cute. You know what? It's a little costumey, even though it doesn't say costume on there. It's really strange because there is pattern pieces on the outside and then there is pattern pieces on the inside. So. I can't really see the back at all. It is 2000s, but like, you know what? I kind of like this white dress. It has a different sleeve style. It could be a really fun, you know, fantasy-esque style pattern. It has potential. 
So we have another Butterick multi skirt, shirt, pants pattern, 1991. It says that it's super easy and it's 12 to 16. I'm not hating the shorts, which is kind of weird because they are very dated, but I still kind of like pleated shorts. So it's something that potential again, potential. Oh, again. Oh my gosh. So another seventies dress size 12. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be a little bit too small for me. Not too bad. So I could probably still make it work. It is looking very seventies yet. Yeah, 1977. Again, I do like that pleated kind of front of the dress. I could make that work. It's just the collar. It's too pointed, not my style, but I could do something with it. Maybe. This is a very plain and simple dress, but I could see myself using it. So it is Butterick. It's extra small to medium and it's not the worst. I kind of like this front one here. But again, it's a very, you see this pattern everywhere, 1993. Oh, you can even turn it into pants if you want it. Oh yeah, the jumpsuit. But yeah, I could definitely see this one. It would be nice flowy kind of summer dress. We're ending on a little bit of a positive note, but not really. So this is the second last one. Simplicity goes all the way up to size 14. I'm assuming it's all of them. Blouse, yeah jacket, pants, skirt. It is factory folded. Last one. And it looks like a cute one. Oh, it's so cute. McCall's printed pattern. It looks like it's been mailed in. It has a bow. This is actually really cute. It's size 14. Can I open it up? Let me guess, there'll be tape, no tape. Oh, she's crinkly. I almost, I feel like it's pretty old. Oh, I just like the artwork. Okay, this is definitely a blouse I would make. Look how pretty that is. Not factory folded. It has a lot of tape on it, but all the pieces have obviously been completely cut out. There's tape all over this. I don't see a date on this. I'd have to look that up. Regardless, very cute. I'm happy with this last one. So all in all, I got a lot of crap, I think. <laughs> I think I have more fun looking through them than I'm actually that I'm actually going to have with making them. A lot of these patterns are completely something I'm not going to be using. If you have any other ways that I could get rid of it, just let me know. I do not mind donating some of this if there is like a young sewing program or something like that. I did get some good ones. Was it worth the money? No, but did I have fun? Sure. But you never know. Like I, there's some patterns that I've used that I can't even believe I was using it. And then I ended up really liking the dress anyways. I think it really matters on what material you use. So I still think there is potential here. I'm definitely going to have to go through them all again, organize them, see what I have, see if there's any potential. Cause right now, obviously I'm looking at them and I'm kind of just going through fast. There are some that absolutely not, I will not be using at all. I don't know what I'm going to do with those ones. I think I will definitely ask for more pictures next time. I feel like if I go back and look at the product placement now, I think a lot of the nicer dress patterns were all on the top. And then all those ones that you just saw the corners were underneath, like the men's windbreakers and how many lingerie type robes stuff there was. I think those were kind of stashed away underneath. When I go and buy all my patterns, I pretty much get them all from a thrift store and they do this thing where it's three for $1.99. So a lot of the times in that, I won't get the ones that I really love either, but I also found some really great ones. But I feel like these patterns are the ones that I got in the $1.99 that I never really liked. I don't know. Again, I'll have to go through it again. I might end up finding some really great gems on the second look through, organize them up, see what I'm going to do with them. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and I hope you subscribe. I will see everybody on Monday in my next video. When is this? Mm. 
Wow. A little dated. Not bad. Oh. oh my gosh, this one's so cute. 